Hey there guys, how long has it been since we were in the car? Too long, but we're about to go on the Fury Road to a post office. Nowhere special like Valhalla. But uh, you like my thing? It's Batman, it goes on the window to protect from the car getting too hot, but it doesn't work because it's boiling his balls out. It's just too, it's too fucking hot. And my car doesn't have AC, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna melt before the video ends. It was a while ago though, and now we're back, and I'm trying to think of a topic to talk about while I drive because otherwise there's gonna be nothing in this video. We're going to pick stuff up. We are on a PO box run or PO box pickups, whatever it's called. Probably just PO box pickups because alliteration, kids. I'm essentially living in interstellar. I'm living on the dust ball because that's what it is. There's been no rain hardly. There's been like a little drizzle, a little tease. And because of that, it's so dry. It's just windy and dust. So it's dust wind. I might as well be living in the desert. It's like, it is, it's like interstellar. And I'm sitting here in my Matthew McConaughey shirt like, all right, all right, all right. Gotta go find a new planet. Hey, you wanna, you wanna start lap on a new planet? Be a lot cooler if you did. Oh, someone was very nice to me the other day and was like, you deserve more subscribers. And I honestly, when people say stuff like that, it just trick, trips me out because I only do the, these videos, well, first off, because I like doing them because I like talking about movies and stuff, but I do it because I just crave like to feel special in some way, as we all do, I imagine. I am ever living to be fucking patted on the back and like, you did a good job. Like stuff like that. So when people like, your videos are awesome, man, or you deserve more subscribers, it just, it, I got emotional actually when I read it. Seriously, like, ah, uh, it, it does. It trips me out. It's like, because I do, I feel a little bit special and it's nice. And, and the person was saying like, no, seriously, I saw your video and I thought you and Chris Stuckman would be friends. I'm like, wouldn't that be fucking awesome if I was friends with Chris Stuckman, except he lives in Ohio and I live in Alberta. And I would actually have to look at a, American map to figure out where Ohio is. I think it's in the middle. I'm not friends with Stuckman, but I am friends with John Flickster, or the Flick Pick, Flickinger, whatever you call him. And um, little known fact, I am in fact his illegitimate child. I don't know how it happened since he's not that much older than me, but it happened. And to be honest, like he is Batman and I am Robin, but I'm not like the cool Robin. I'm well, technically, if I'm his son, I would be Damian Wayne, but I'm not. I'm more like Jason Todd because he's awesome Batman, and I'm Jason Todd, and I'm going to die, like, gruesomely at the hands of the Joker, and he'll just move on and replace me. Essentially, that's how I think of it. But anyway, what are we going to pick up? P.O. Box pickups? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It depends what came in. I think there's a movie, a Blu-ray, a special Blu-ray, a video game, and then maybe some other things, you know, get your ass to the P.O. Box. I can't, that's a hint. But it's it's not movie related. I should probably get gas. It's actually like right at the bottom. I feel like Kramer and Seinfeld where it's like, no. The bottom thing doesn't mean anything. We're gonna push it to the limit and I'll get another 20 miles or kilometers out of it when it's on empty. And I would love to open the packages while driving. Maybe I'll do that with one. And I am, I'm 98% sure that I know what's in here. I was wrong. <laughs> it's in the other box. But this is cool too, I guess. I look forward to, this is the game I was talking about. I look forward to playing it. Uh, I've got three of them now. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I don't know if there's reflection in it. Next gen game of the year. Well, well. Uh, but I recently just got Assassin's Creed 3 in the mail like yesterday and that's for the PS3. This is for the PS4 and my brother bought Assassin's Creed Unity and that was the first one I played. All I knew was there's a guy Ezio Alditore and he did stuff. And then there was the third one Connor Kenway and this one Edward Kenway who is a pirate I think. Uh, but the thing about Unity is it gives you a lot of old costumes, so your guy in that Arno, you can dress up like Connor or Edward or um, 
Altair, who I guess is from the first one, I'm not sure, just the original Grandmaster Assassin, whatever. Then you can dress up as Ezio, you can dress up as Shay, who is the villain in, um, spoilers, but he's the villain in Unity, but he's the main guy from Assassin's Creed Rogue. I've just been, like, wikipedia everything to try to catch up. <laughs> So like he's the main guy in Assassin's Creed Rogue and that game ends with him killing a certain person and then this game begins, turns out that person was your dad and that sets up your whole thing. Which Assassin's Creed Unity is just a rip off of Batman. Young boy, his dad's killed and then he becomes a vigilante who goes out for justice or whatever. Except Arno is a bloodthirsty killer who will like just gut you. It is the Batman story, but if you replace the look of Batman with, uh, you can dress him up like Green Arrow or a Daredevil, if you will, and then give him the actions of the Punisher, essentially, in the times of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's very complex, but it's fun enough. But I'll tell you something about that game, and I hope I don't feel this way about um, Black Flag and number three. It's so fucking annoying when you're in a fight and it's like, yeah, you're... It, there's a lot of people, so it's kind of hard keeping up with all the blocking. And then, like, three assholes pull out guns and, like... Psh, psh. So you keep rolling and it's just, no, this guy's going to shoot you. Now this guy's going to shoot you and you die. It's like, motherfucker, I want to have a fight and these pricks are pulling out guns. Or there's the asshole snipers really far away. So it's like, I'm in a fight and there's a dude, like, if I were to get him, I'd have to run all the way over there, climb up a building to get him. And if I try to do that, the people on the ground are gonna shoot me, and if I don't worry about the sniper, then he's gonna shoot me. Like, it's annoying, the guns half the time. You die so many fucking times in that game. You die a lot. And the story overall, I'll just say this, this is kind of a review. I might do an actual review, I'm not sure, but if not, I'll just do it here. Um, the story, it's cool, like the whole, yeah, you're in olden times and all the assassin stuff, but why the fuck? Really, and this has been with all the games, when it takes you to the future, it's like you're just living out the past through your ancestors' DNA that's in you or whatever. That just sucks you out of the game. It's like you're enjoying it and then immediately taken out of it, like something cool happens. Oh, now run, it's all falling apart. Jump through this portal. Now you're in Nazi Germany or Paris for no reason, just to get up to another portal, take you back because it's like Inception, I guess. It's just, it's lame. It's like, really? You're, they're trying to add cool stuff like, oh, this will be cool, like Inception. But it, all it does is take you out of the game. The other box of mine real quick. Uh, oh, God. He's falling. Yeah. Oh, you know what I should do is open a fucking window because I'm dying. It's ridiculously hot. Just, all right, now, if you remember the hints I gave, then you saw it from Paper Snake. Um, this first thing is Tits McGee, the Drive Steelbook Best Buy exclusive, or Future Shop exclusive. I think it's like old, so I had to get it on Amazon. Like there was the other one where it's just his face from the side with the toothpick, which was cool, but this one, Come on, that's fantastic. And it's like, I already own the movie, but I'll double dip for something that looks this cool. So I did. Uh, what's this? Arnold pre-workout fruit punch. I, I like pre-workout, but that Mr. Hyde stuff, it tastes like ass. So, and I've tried C4, because my mom takes C4, and that stuff tastes good. So I'm hoping Arnold's tastes good, because if it tastes bad, then I'll, I'll guess I'll do C4. And uh, this thing's fucking heavy. Oh my god, this is twice as heavy as the other ones because it's bigger. Arnold Whey Protein, the biggest kind, and it's strawberry banana. It's bigger than my head. Oh yeah, I get the pump. Come on, just do it. Oh, coming everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was thinking about getting Arnold's, uh, what's it called, mass gainer. And I'm like, I'm still trying to lose weight, like fat. So I don't want to start putting on like 50 pounds of like I would put on 50 pounds of muscle. But I don't want to put on a bunch of weight from muscle while I'm still trying to lose fat. It's like, oh, I weigh 300 pounds, but it's not all fat. It just seems counterintuitive. So if I ever, like when I eventually, God knows how long it takes when I get to be really thin, 
and lean, then I'll start taking the mass gainer stuff. Yeah, basically a box full of Arnold. Uh, that could have a sexual connotation to it. A box full of Arnold. You put Arnold in that box. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a game and a fantastic steel book. And there's two other boxes, but they're not mine, so I won't open them. Hope you guys like these P.O. Box pickups, because if you didn't, well, it's too late. The video's over, <laughs> so I can't really fix it. Um, going to be a Blu-ray DVD update, stuff like that, because there's other things that I picked up a couple days ago that I didn't film. So with like blue, new Blu-rays and movies, stuff like that, if you watch these, generally I'll try not to film me picking up everything, because I want to have some surprise. Like this would have been a good surprise, but not everyone that watches the Blu-ray videos watch these, so I guess it will be a surprise still. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And uh, you know, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know how I always like to say, oh yeah, stay tuned because this is gonna come out. I'm not. I'm done doing that. You know what? I don't like teasing you guys because how long have I been teasing my top 10 films of the year, which I do actually plan on filming now. That it's halfway through 2015. Timing is horrible for me. And uh, top 10 Stallone, I just have to watch Tango and Cash, and essentially I'm good. And I guess Rambo 3. And then also, There Will Be Blood, I'm going to review that because someone asked me to, and it took me a long time, but I'm getting around to that. But after those, like, I'm not teasing anymore, unless, like, the video's done, and I plan on posting it. Because, like, me saying, I'm going to do this video, and then never getting around to it is annoying. So for now on, you guys, I'm going to treat you... Like, I'm gonna treat you with secrecy. I'm keeping you in the closet. You're never gonna know what's happening. And it's just gonna be constant surprises. Maybe that'll make people wanna watch my videos more. Cause for 400 subscribers and some that I have now, not all, not even half of them watch all my videos. That was odd. Anyway, yeah, come below, tell me all the pickups and all that. I keep hearing something. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.